By 1940, German engineers introduced another game-changing weapon with some geometry of their own, the shape charge high-explosive anti-tank warhead, or heat round. A heat round has a cone-shaped head that is backed by a high-explosive charge. Upon detonation, the cone-shaped head collapses, forming a high-velocity molten jet, which propelled at over 1,500 miles per hour, can shoot right through a tank's steel plates. Heat rounds are so effective during World War II that they enable a single soldier to stop a tank with a bazooka or other handheld weapons. Neither American Sherman tanks nor German panzers are immune to the heat round's destructive power. But tanks have already reached a tipping point when it comes to adding more steel. So tank engineers are faced with the latest version of their old problem. This time, how to protect tanks against the heat rounds without adding more weight. In the 1960s, British researchers at the Chobham Research Center invent the solution. The response to that also is, instead of trying to have ever thicker, heavier armor, let's turn to another material to serve as armor. And that's what you get with Chobham armor. The new material is a compound of hard ceramics. Formed into tiles, the compound is layered between two steel plates. When a projectile penetrates the first layer of steel, it hits the ceramic tile, which cracks, dissipating the energy laterally and away from the tank. The second layer of steel acts as a final barrier against the remaining energy. Because the ceramic tile center reduces the amount of steel in regular armor, Chobham armor spurs on a new era of lighter, faster tanks like today's M1 Abrams.